Welcome back to Mud Runner, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Yurf Dog Go Kart. Now, it's an interesting mod to say the least. I have not touched it yet, I have not driven it yet, but it was made by my friend Red, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave a link to this mod in the description box down below. I'm also gonna be using a truck by Frog, and I'm gonna leave a link to his Discord in the description down below where you can check out his trucks and also see some of the other stuff he's got going on. So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this Yurf Dog buggy and see what it's all about, take it around a track, and uh, hopefully not crash it. Now, with that being said, here in the garage, we have two add-ons. We have a scout trailer, which I am amazed that this is even a thing. And we also have a spare tire add-on, which I'm going to go ahead and throw in this one. Now, let's go ahead and start it up for the first time and see what it sounds like, but also how it drives. Well, that's different. Listen to that. It actually kind of sounds like a go-kart. That's really funny. That's really funny, but actually kind of makes sense. It handles interestingly. Diff lock is always on and all-wheel drive is obviously not available because, I mean, look at the front suspension. I mean, where are you going to put front axles in relation to that? But I'm a- Whoa! It, it doesn't handle too bad. It pulls a front wheel! Oh my god, it'll pull the front wheel up off the ground if you really want it to. That's great. Now, I wonder if it'll drive up on the back of that truck. I I have to find out. I absolutely have to find out. Let's see. Let's do that. And then let's also bring the lift down as far as it will go. Oh, God. This may not work. Oh, oh! There's been a bug. There's been quite a bug indeed. I think I'm gonna... Well, we can try it one more time, but I don't know if that's gonna even remotely fix it. Well, I don't know, boys. Let's go. Oh, oh. It does not want us to do that. It's like, <laughs> it's like you are denied. 110% denied. All right, this thing's gonna be... I'm gonna turn that thing off. It's probably something I'm doing, or to be fair, maybe not doing correctly. But, I mean, it's comical, but I don't know why it's doing it. Now, let's go ahead and see what these things are actually like around a proper racetrack. So, we've brought them to Ledgeview, which is a track that I haven't been to, or I should say a map I haven't been to in a long time. And they're hilariously fun to drive! I mean, they're not the fastest thing in the world, but they don't need to be. I mean, who cares if they- Oh, the- Oh my god, the first person view is hilarious. Ah! We've almost gone straight into, like, one of the posts for the start-finish line. Yikes. I am going to go ahead and sort of warp the other two over here. Now, there are more versions than the ones that I've brought today. Uh, today, I've brought along the purple one, the green one, and the red one. But, let's see. Uh, bring the red one over here, and let's bring the green one over here. And now we're going to line them all up. And hopefully get a really good picture of these things, because they are hilarious looking. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I would totally race these things in real life. I feel like it'd be, I feel like it'd be hilarious. Now, leave me a like on this video if this is something that you would drive without hesitation. Because I know for a fact that I would drive any and all of these things without hesitation if I was given the chance. I mean, look at this thing. It's so freaking weird, but it literally, literally it looks like one of the most fun things you could drive like on four wheels. But with that being said, let's go. If you really want to get them up to speed, third gear is the only place to be. Oh my God. That, whoa, rest in peace our dude's spine. His spine has been extended beyond repair, I think. But you know what's great about it is the fact that they're not all that fast, and so you could just go flat out everywhere on a track like this, and you're, you don't have to worry about flipping over, you don't have to worry about getting into a bad situation, you don't have to worry about, like, tumbling end over end. You just go flat out the whole time, and I'm sure that would make for some very interesting racing. And these jumps are not punishing, they're just fun. Every, like, nothing is punishing in this thing, it's literally all fun. 
I wonder if they would make it through truck night. Oh god, that's an idea. That's that's actually that's actually an idea that I would very much like to explore after we complete a full lap. The only thing is that might be Whoa! What was that? I have no clue what the heck just happened. I probably hit like a small bump in the terrain and it just grabbed the tire and flipped me over. But you know what? I know I said I was going to do a full lap before I went to truck night, but now that we flipped, yeah, I think I'm just going to take them straight to truck night because I have a feeling they'll be even more fun there. So let's go ahead and actually pull up the OG truck night map. They're like the OG truck night deal. Oh boy. All right. And let's bring a couple different versions this time. Let's bring, well, we can't necessarily bring all of them, but we can bring quite a few. We could bring four. Definitely bring in the red. And definitely bring in the green one. The green one's cool. The green one is like weird and wacky looking because it's so bright. Come on. Don't crash on me. Thank you. Oh, perfect. We spawned in the green one. Isn't that just like the best thing? I don't know. Like to me, it's... Well, I'm going to run it without the spare tire. Spare tire, not necessary. I do want to line all of them up though. Yes. I love the sound. The sound is great. The sound. Oh, God, the brakes are sensitive. The brakes are like stupid sensitive. And what's funny is all I have to do is drive them straight forward. I mean, the the recall system actually puts them in the perfect spacing. Where's the, the blue one? That's the last one we have to recall. I love how instant the brakes are. It's hilarious to me. Like, because the brakes are so OP. But then again, I mean, it's not like they have much to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't really... They, they're, it's not like they're overstressed, you know? It's not like you're trying to overstress these things with, like, a giant vehicle. But we're going to go ahead and switch into the green one because the green one is the one I was going to do the original run in anyway. And let's go ahead and get it started up. Three... Two, one, go! Alright, let's see how it does through the mud. That's gonna be the first test. Small jump. Oh, God! Well, it's doing better than I thought it was going to. I mean, obviously it doesn't have any drive to the front, but once the rear tires get some grip, it just hauls. It's hilarious. It actually kind of goes. I thought this thing was going to just, like, just sink. Like, just flat out, just go drive straight down and sink. But no, it actually works really well. Out of the mud now. Setting our sights clearly on the next obstacle, which with a non-powered front axle is pretty impossible. We almost made it there, but it's going to have to be a drive around. Yeah, we're going to have to turn this into a drive around. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Are you freaking kidding me? Bruh. Up we go. There we go. Kind of surprised it made its way through the rocks so well. Want to see if it'll... Ah, I gotta make a decision! Go right! Go right, go right, go right, go right! Woo! Staying close to that log. There we go. I'm just trying to power it through as quick as I can. I am not going to hook it up to one of the F-150s because I feel like that would de defeat the purpose of, of trying to get this thing to actually complete the course because hooked up to one of those F-150s, it probably will not complete the course smashing straight into that one rock just plowing straight through it I don't even know where it went or what happened to it but it's been yeeted that's for sure alright heading into the second round of mud now yeah it goes right back to first gear which I'm not surprised it goes right back to first gear especially with a non-driven front axle because the rear is having to do all the work go 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 Into the pool of water, putting it in high. My question is, will it make it through in high? I don't know. I mean, I'm, whoa, I've about sunk the thing. 
Oh no! Yep, I had to take it out of high, that's for sure. Dude, oh my god, why is it so ridiculously deep there? I don't even remember it being that deep there, but then again, I haven't brought something this small through here like ever before. The interior view is so freaking hilarious. It should be able to just drive around half the rock obstacles. Or the rock obstacles could be this thing's downfall. You never know. Oh, there you go. No! No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Dude, come on. There it is. There it is. Power through. Dropping off that first set of rocks. Up the next rock hill. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Not bad. There it is. Get it. Oh boy. Um, so the bridge is a problem because we legitimately can't fit. We're gonna have to go around the edge. Like, I don't really think there's any better way to describe that other than literally not possible. I'm trying to see if I can stick with this in high and actually have it make it. There you go. Third gear. Oh, it won't make these. Oh my god! Dude's spine just went whoop! <laughs> like, it literally went backwards. Yeah, I think that's kind of a... Uh, I think that's a bit of a stopping point. I never really imagined that it would make it, like, over the logs, but the fact that the only obstacles it really couldn't do were the logs, the bridge, and the concrete blocks kind of says a lot about it, considering the fact that especially, like, it's only two-wheel drive. But if you guys enjoyed this little mod test slash mod review, then let me know in the comment section below if you're going to drive it. And also, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.